Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIVS Hobby School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Bonding Ship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 5 of annual term and today's SW number will be 5 also. My dear student, our today's topic name exercise 6b from exercise 6b we shall solve question number 9 and 10 from 10 we shall solve what problem number 3 as your cw and my dear student from 10 sub number 1 and 2 will be your sw i repeat from exercise 6b and question number 10 sub number 1 2 of 10 will be your sw you have to do your assign SW in your SW copy and submit it regularly in our school campus in every Saturday within 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. My dear student, it is a matter of great joy that these two odd problem uh, is already solved by uh, yourself as your SW in half yearly exam. So it is so easy for you to solve. Okay, now we shall go to our class here. Question number 9 and 10. 9. Calculate. Here three problems are given and question number 10, sub number 3, a word problem is given. We shall solve this to math. Okay, at first we solve question number 9. Calculate. That means simplification. Here question number 1, 7 divided by 15, multiply by 5 by 6, multiply by 3 by 14. Okay, so at first we solve this one. Okay, 9, 1. So at first we pick up the question here 7 by 15 multiply by 5 by 6 multiply by 3 by 14. Now my dear student at first we write the whole number as a fraction. Okay. So I write here the numerators are 7 multiply 5 multiply 3 and denominators are 5, 15 multiply by 6 multiply by 14. Now, my dear student, we notice many numbers uh, uh, divides both numerators and denominators. Okay, 7 and 14. Both numbers are divided by 7. So, if we divide this number by 7, then we get 1, 7 on the 7. And this 14, we divide this 14 by 7 and we get 2. So, 7 and 14 both are cut by the number 7 and we get 1 and 2. Okay. Now, you notice 5 and 15, both numbers are divided by the number 5. So, if we divide 5 by 5, then we get 1, 5 on the 5. If we divide 15 by 5, then we get 3, 5, 3 are 15. Now, here you notice, here 3 and here 3, both number is divided by the number 3. So, 3 ones are 3 and 3 ones are 3. So, you notice, as a numerator, 1, 1, 1 left and as a denominator, 1, 6 and 2 left and we must do multiplication of this 3 number and also multiplication of this 3 number as denominator. Okay. So, 1 multiply 1 multiply 1 that means 1 on the 1 and 1 on the 1. Okay. Now, 6 multiply 1, 6 on the 6 and 6 multiply 2, 6 to the 12. So, 1 by 12 is the required answer of this question. I hope you have understood how to solve such type of math. Okay. So, number 1 done. Next, we shall solve question number 2. Okay. 2 number question is 7 by 12 divided by 2 into 1 by 3 multiply 2 by 5. My dear student, notice 7 by 12 divided by 2 into 1 by 3 multiply 2 by 5. Here you notice this is a mixed fraction. So, at first we need to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. Okay. 7 by 12 divided by 3 to the 6 plus 1 that means 7. 7 and denominators is 3 multiply by 2 by 5. Okay. As the rules of simplification at first we do the work of division. Okay. So, at first we do the work of division that means this to fraction. Okay. First of all, we write the first fraction 7 by 12 and we know division of two fractions means multiplication of the first fraction with the reverse of the second fraction. Second fraction that means this sign will be changed and it will be 
multiply sign. After that, this second fraction will be reversed. That means numerator will be denominator and denominator will be numerator. So, 3 by 7, 2 by 5. Now, we convert this 3 fraction as 1 fraction. So, 7 multiply 3 multiply 2, 12 multiply 7 multiply 5. Now, my dear students, we do cut. Here you notice 7, 7. Both numbers are divided by the number 7. So, 7, 1 are 7 and 7, 1 are 7. And 3 and 12. So, please notice both number is divided by the number 3. 3 ones are 3 and 3 6 are 12. Here you notice 6 and 2. So, now both number is divided by the number 2. 2 ones are 2 and 2 3s are 6. My dear student, please notice here I do a mistake which one is 3 multiply by 12. 3 ones are 3 and 3 fours are 3 fours are 12. Now I cut this 2 and this 4. 2 ones are 2 and 2 twos are 4. Now my dear student notice 2, 1 and 5 left and as numerator 1, 1 and 1 left. So we do multiplication that means 1 ones are 1, 1 ones are 1 and next 2 ones are 2 and 2 fives are 10. So, 1 by 10 is the answer of this question. I hope you have understood. My dear student, question number 3 is similar as question number 2. Okay, we solve this 3 number question. First of all, we pick up this question 7 by 12, uh, then multiply by 2 by 5 divided by 2 into 1 by 3 similar as question number 2 ok 7 by 12 multiply 2 by 5 at first we convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction 2 3 is a 6 plus 1 the 7 divided by 3 now as the rules of simplification at first we do the work of division that means division of two fraction means multiplication of the first fraction with the reverse of the second fraction that means this division will be multiply sign and this second fraction will be reverse that means 3 by 7. Now we convert this 3 fraction into 1 fraction. So we write denominator side 12 multiply 5 multiply 7 and also 7 multiply 2 multiply 3. Now we do cut 7 both number is divided by 7 7 on the 7 7 on the 7. And this 12 and 3, both number is cut by 3. 3 ones are 3 and 3 fours are 12. Next, 2 and 4, both are cut by the number 2. 2 ones are 2 and 2 twos are 4. And as in numerator, 1 multiply by 1, on, on multiply 1, multiply 1, then it will be 1. 2 fives are 10, 10 ones are 10. That means as a denominator, it is 10. So, 1 by 10 is the required answer. I hope you have understood how to solve question number 1, 2 and 3. So, next we shall go to our what problem which is question number 10 and sub number 3. Okay. Three, Mr. Sajjad had 24,000 taka. Mr. Sajjad had how much taka? 24,000 taka. He donated 5 by 12 portion of his money to an orphanage. Okay and 3 by 8 portion to an educational institution. What amount of money was he left with? Okay. So, how can we solve this math? When we want to solve a odd problem, at first we make a plan. How to solve a math? If we can make a plan, then it is easier for us to solve a math. So, first of all, you notice given that Mr. Sajjad had 24,000 taka and he donated in two institutions. One is orphanage and other is educational institution. So, at first we uh, add this donation that means uh, how much portion he donated in total. Okay, after finding total amount of donation, then we, uh, then we find out the left amount of portion of money. Okay, and we know total amount in on portion. One portion means uh, 24,000 taka, then left portion of money 
equal to how much taka. We do calculation and we get the answer. I hope you have understood. So my dear student, let us solve this math. When you want to solve a odd problem, at first you write given that. Because it is the decoration of a math. When you write given that, the value of this solution will be increased. So first of all, we write number 10. 3 and write given that given that Mr. Sajjad had how much taka? 24,000 taka. So first of all we write this 24,000 taka and now write he donated. Donated how much taka? He donated 5 by 12 portion. 5 by 12 portion to an orphanage and 3 by 8 portion to an educational institution. Okay. Now, at first we find out the total amount of donation. So, write in total he donated. In total he donated. So, at first we do addition. That means 5 by 12 plus 3 by 8 portion. Okay. Then we do addition. That means first of all we find out the LCM of these two number 12 and 8 okay 12 and 8 LCM how can we do uh, uh, both number is divided by the prime number 2 so 2 6 are 12 and 2 4 are 8 now we divide both number by 2 again 2 3 are 6 and 2 2 are 4 now we do multiplication 2 2 uh, 2 with 2 with 3 with 2 so 2 2 are 4 4 3 is a 12 and 12 2 is a 24. So we write 24 as the numerator. Now with this we divide this LCM by the denominator of the first fraction. Okay. If we divide 24 by 12, then we get 2. And that 2 is multiplied with this 5. 5 2 is a 10. Right. Then this plus sign is here. After that same process, we divide this 24 by the denominator of the second fraction. That means we divide 24 by 8 and we get 3. And that 3 is multiplied with this 3. And 3, 3 is a 9. So, 10 plus 9. Okay. Here we write portion. Now, we do addition. That means 10 plus 9, it will be 19 by 24 portion. Okay. Now, in total, he donated 19 by 24 portion. So, after donated, how much portion of money he left with? Okay. We need to find out that amount. Okay. Let total amount of money be one portion. So, left amount of money, left amount of money be 1 minus 19 by 24 portion. Okay, now we do subtraction. That means we know that every number has a denominator which is 1. So, this 1 has a denominator which is 1. Now, we write 1 by 1 and 19 by 24 portion. Okay. Now, please notice the LCM of 1 and 24 is 24. We divide this 24 by 1 and we get 24. That 24 is 
multiplied with 1 and we get 24 minus we divide this 24 by 24 and we get 1 that 1 is multiplied with 19 and we get 19 on the 19 so 24 minus 19 that means we get 5 by 24 portion okay so 5 by 24 portion is the left amount of money of mr sajjad okay so my dear student we need to find out what is the price of this 5 by 24 portion uh, what is the um, uh, what if we convert this portion into money then what will be the money okay so here you notice one portion money equal to 24000 taka so 5 by 24 portion money is equal to how much taka we need to find out that okay now we erase first portion to find out the answer now on portion equal to 24000 taka so therefore 5 by 24 portion equal to 24000 multiply by 5 by 24 taka now we do cut here you notice every number has a denominator which is 1 that means 24,000 multiply 5 divided by 1 by 25 we can easily cut this 24,000 by 24 and we get 24 on the 24 and this 3 0 is placed here that means 5,000 taka and this is the required answer okay as our solution is done we must write answer okay so answer 5000 tak was left with him okay this is the answer of this question my dear student from same chapter that means exercise 6b and from same question number 10 you have to solve sub number 1 and 2 what problem as your sw okay my dear student i hope uh, you have understood my class if you have any question or if you can't uh, understand any portion of my class then you can make a phone call to me my phone number is given on the board so my dear student keep practicing at home abide by your balance see you soon till then assalamu